Hey, it's MJ here with Fight Life Media. We're here with Chucky Williams. Chucky, thanks for spending some time with us. It's a pleasure. You know, Chucky's making waves on the amateur scene here. He's got two title fights coming up. Yeah. He's 5-0 and as an amateur. He's currently training here at uh, ATF. Yes, yes, uh, So shout out to ATF. Great training facility here. If you're looking for a good gym, to come check it out. Chucky's also doing some coaching. Uh, so just to kind of introduce, you know, you to the, the MMA community, Chucky, um, tell us a little bit about your background, maybe in sports, and then... Uh, We'll kind of start from there. So, did you play any high school sports? Uh, I definitely did. Um, I played football and basketball. Basketball definitely being my forte, but I was probably about only about 200 pounds at that time. Okay. So I was a lot leaner. Uh -huh. I ran a 4340 at the time. So, wow. so at that time, I you know I was very lean and things like that. But um, I haven't really played any uh, collegiate sports since since high school. Athletic sports since that. But um, okay. You know, vicariously have fun. All right, sounds good. So, you know, the thing that struck me with you, Chucky, is like when we did our post-fight interview yeah. after uh, you got that knockout win. Yeah. He's part of the uh, Fight Life uh, commercial now. <laughs> he's in the opening scene there. It's great footage. You know, you couldn't be like a nicer guy. Yeah. You got a great energy about you. You don't seem like, you know, you're Mr. Tough Guy. But, man, when you get in the cage, <laughs> you put it down. So how did you get into fighting? I mean, what, what kind of drew you to the sport of mixed martial arts? Well, I didn't learn about mixed martial arts until my little brother was doing uh, Muay Thai, mm -hmm. and uh, he was training with Sean Yarborough, okay. and um, I was still going to school. Matter of fact, I was in radiology school at the time, so I really didn't, I wasn't, couldn't be there to train all the time, okay. but he took, he had fought probably about six fights in. Um, his second fight was a title fight. He has six belts total wow. um, in Muay Thai. So then I said, you know, maybe, maybe I can give it a whirl and try. I couldn't afford the training because they wanted fifty dollars an hour, wow. and uh, student pockets aren't that big. So uh, I would watch my little brother train, and then I would work the moves out. So then I took um, my very first fight mm -hmm. at Sit Ramasoon in California, which was a Muay Thai fight, okay. which uh, turned out to be a, a full battle. But um, I had won every round. We went to the decision. I won every round, and. Um, it was a great experience for me, and it just I just kept going with it. Okay. So um, now, as far as as far as like you know, street fights. Have you ever, you know, when you were a kid, were you that kid that uh, ever got into fights or? Um. Yes and no. I mean, I was I was pretty popular and, and well liked. Just, uh -huh. just, that, that's just my personality. Yeah. You know, very humble. But um, you know, there's some times where you go out with your friends and people want to want to want to test you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they took my uh, kindness for weakness. Uh -huh. So I had uh, the fight started because I wasn't real comfortable throwing a punch. I had slapped him in the face with an open hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was classic. And then we started fighting. Yeah. I um, I think uh, the fight lasted like two minutes before I put him to sleep. Yeah. So uh, it was a great moment for me. Okay. So now, how long are you in the game now? How long have you been training? Uh, and I know you, you, we were talking earlier, you said you kind of bounced around the gyms and now you're at ATF here. Uh, tell us a little bit about how long you've been training mixed martial arts and, and uh, how that's going for you. Well, I've been training mixed martial arts for like, I guess we could say the last five years vicariously off and on, mm -hmm. uh, more off than on. Mm -hmm. um, and I had just been taking fights in between there. Mm -hmm. um, but once, uh, once I won um, my fight against uh, Brandon Browning, mm -hmm. um, I had rotator cuff surgery. Then I said, you know what, I can actually do this. So I rededicated myself. I got a couple of uh, sessions with Sean Yarborough. He had took me in and said, you know what, let's, let's see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. um, that didn't really work out for long time coaching because you know he has his other stuff, people he has to take care of. Right. And then um, I came here, I mean, I've known Angelo for like the last seven years and okay. he said, you know, come down here and check out my gym. Mm -hmm. Let's get this weight off of you. So right then and there, I knew that I had a team mm -hmm. that that's now for me. You know, okay. I wasn't bouncing around using people's gyms and facilities, just being sparring partners or training partners, mm -hmm. things like that. I actually could do this. Mm -hmm. So my overall Muay Thai record is seven and one, wow. and my okay. overall MMA record is five and zero. Oh. Okay. So twelve and one overall. Okay. Hope, you know, I've been successful. Yeah, nice. Um, so you talked a little bit about uh, you know maybe cutting some of the weight down. Your yeah. next couple title title fights uh, at uh, for Las Vegas MMA in September, right? So and, and then upcoming on Saturday with yeah. Tough Enough, yeah. those are going to be contested at super heavyweight, right? Well, super heavyweight, and then the uh, Las Vegas MMA, we're still going down. So hopefully we can make heavyweight, but I'm not thinking we will make 265. Okay, 
All right. So how's that going? Are you, you concentrating a lot more on your cardio right now and, and cutting some of the weight down? Right now, yes, it's just a lot of cardio and stamina, but we don't want to lose a, a lot of consistent weight just yeah. because of uh, the two fights that are back to back. If mm -hmm. I if I start cutting weight, who who knows how I react to that? Right mm -hmm. now, we just we'll just stick to where I'm where, where I'm more successful at, uh -huh. being at at 330 pounds right now. I guess okay. you can say, mm -hmm. but um, I think that once once these two fights are over, we'll take a three month push, okay. especially with the. Uh, sponsorship and backings that I just have now, mm -hmm. I can uh, not focus on work as much. And yeah. I can focus more on just uh, training and the task at hand at getting down to about 235, 225. Okay, cool. sounds good. Um, so tell us a little bit about your, your most recent sponsor. We, <laughs> well, we were talking about this, I didn't even know. But you know, Playboy just sponsored Chucky. So yeah. shout out to Playboy. Yes, I like the priests to thank them a lot because uh, they really did go out on a limb with me. Mm -hmm. um, I've been talking with them for about a year and a half now. And they had said, you know, well, we, we might do this, we might not. And then uh, this last sit down after I had just won this last fight in 35 second knockout, mm -hmm. um, they said, let's do it. Let's give you a full sponsorship. Um, let's take ownership of you. And I said, I'm down, whatever. You can do whatever you want. You want a tattoo playboy on me? All you want. Cool. I don't care. It's one of the biggest sponsors I've ever had. So. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank it's you. great to see companies coming in, taking notice of athletes like yourself at the yes. amateur level. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to probably pay off for him in the future, you know, as you, as you go pro. Definitely. So going down that road, I mean, what are your aspirations as far as, uh, you know, on a time frame here? What are you looking at? Obviously, you're going to get down to, to heavyweight, yes. which will make it an easier transition to the pros. Definitely. Um, Definitely. When do you see yourself, you know, potentially making that debut? You've got, you know, quite a few fights under your belt now. So I'm hoping I'm hoping in January. January will will, will, will be the test. Um, I'm at 330 pounds right now, and I think that um, – by January, we can get there. We can get to about 265. It's only okay. about, what, uh, 70 pounds, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can roughly lose about 20 pounds a month, especially being definitely overweight. So okay. um, I think that that's something we can do by uh, by January okay. because I do want to turn pro by then. Okay. You know, um, I think I've had a great opportunity and a great run at the amateur level. Mm -hmm. But um, if you want to make it a full time, it yeah. doesn't feed your pocket. Yeah, so, uh, that's true. I definitely, I can't wait for that. Okay. So, you know, you're known for your power, Your power. you know, yes. you got a lot of power, you got a nasty left hand, yes. um, which is what you put your last opponent away with. Yes. Um, how's your ground game? Uh, everybody wants to probably know, where's his wrestling at, where's his jiu-jitsu, are you training a lot of that as well? Obviously, you're a, a great stand-up fighter. Yes. Um, how's that transition going as far as, like, rounding yourself out? Well, um... I don't sleep on, on learning anything, you mm -hmm. know, every day is, is a learning process, I'm a student of the game 100%, um, but I train my Jiu Jitsu with Fresh and Pai Jiao, um, and then I do my wrestling with Angelo and Tuna, okay. um, great worth ethic from both those guys, you know, they push me to the limit, um, Kel, if you watch this, thank you, <laughs> he's a, a security guard for uh, one of the big top uh, commissioner heads over at the, the UFC so uh, okay. I just want to say thank you to him because he uh -huh. definitely throws me around <laughs> okay cool so you got that well-rounded training how do you see this next fight coming up you know you've got the fight this upcoming Saturday uh, with tough enough it's for a title right. uh, your opponent I guess is coming in from the, the Midwest Minnesota right yeah. Yeah. don't know a lot about the kid but um, looks like a game opponent a big guy obviously yes um, how do you see this one going <sighs> I mean I definitely I don't want to get in over my head and say I'm going to knock him out, but that's always, you know, the outcome that you want. That's what you're rooting for is to mm -hmm. have a, uh, a nice finish to where the crowd backs behind you and says, you know what, I want to see that guy again and again. Yeah. And that's what I like to do. I like to bring excitement. I like mm -hmm. to bring that new angle or aspect of my game. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, a lot of the fights I've had, I haven't had the opportunity to show that I have kicks and a lot of different um, athleticism in that sense. But um, mm -hmm. if I had to put something on it, um, I'm definitely gonna say it's gonna be done by ground and pound. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, that's the way it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's the way it went down last time. If you didn't check out Chucky's last fight or the highlight reel from that, you know, go check that out on our channel. Uh, great highlight footage, man. Chucky went nuts after the end of that fight, and uh, yeah. just really entertaining, man. You're, I already knew, like, just seeing you for the first time, I was like, man, this guy, you got that charisma, you got that energy, yeah, you bring it also, and uh, so. We're looking forward to your next fight. Awesome, awesome. And then, uh, obviously, with Las Vegas MMA thereafter in a couple weeks after yes, that fight. Yes, um, So, you know, we're definitely interested in uh, continuing to follow you. Yes. You know, everybody go support Chucky. <laughs> um, 
And as always, for additional coverage and exclusive content, make sure and check us out at fightlifemedia.com.